Hi everyone, it's Cherry Enchantress. I'm here with another pick a card reading. So this time we have another Valentine kind of reading. This one is going to be who will be my Valentine and what's in store for us. So I'm going to let you choose by card. Pile one is the angel of love. Pile two is the fourth chakra, Archangel Raphael, which is the heart chakra. And pile three is man holding a heart. So the angel of love is all about tender connections. Um, she's saying the angel of love is smiling on you and forging connections in the energetic realm. Then the um, Archangel Raphael is all about the fourth chakra, like I said. This is love, compassion, self-acceptance. The universe will send people and situations to your cause. They'll send situations to you. Different people are different situations to you. So you can have this sense of love and support and let it grow and grow. It'll give you this good feeling for, of self, you know. And then the man holding heart, it's like a, a man dealing with family love or emotions. This could be somebody that you know or somebody coming into your life or not, none of the above. It could just simply be this card attracts you, you know, this man, this, this appearance of this man or whatever. Um, but in general, it has to do, um, so this, it's a love, possible love interest or friend, and there's high intention to help where personal projects, family, or home issues are concerned. So he's kind of like the family man, kind of represents that. Okay, and then we also have a couple of cards here that I'm going to put shuffle, pre-shuffled and place on there. So you might like to also choose by number as well. And... There you go. So there you go. Those are our three piles. So push out your breath. Take a deep breath. Close your eyes. Release your breath. Now open your eyes and let them drift to the pile that's meant for you. Let's begin. All right, and you picked pile number one, the Angel of Love. It's such a beautiful card. And... Let's take a look at your other messages. So we have 46 and 72, and you have support and protection, and possible C and S might um, have a clue to who your love is. And you also have the crazy heart. <laughs> this is a very rare card. Out of all, I don't know how many is in this deck, but I think there's maybe 80 plus little hearts in here and this is the only one that doesn't have um, um, an, an alphabet a letter so this is specifically luck and love so very nice there you go all right so let's see what some of your messages might be you've got playfulness laughter is the best therapy have some fun together and remember love is the greatest healer you have a gift coming in. Valentine's Day is coming. And then you have lovers. So this person is either is somebody that you feel like a sexual attraction to as well as a heart attraction. So they're, they're your lovers. Um, whether you're a physical connection or just a spiritual lovers kind of connection, they are in your life. So somebody that you probably already know or want to be lovers with. <laughs> and then you've got distance hor horizons. This suddenly jumped out um, long distance relationship. So there's a possible he possibility here, long distance. There's also a possibility it could be like the twin flame where it's um, only like a, a 5D connection maybe, but it could be um, also traveling to go see this person. You have another energy oracle card and you have caring connections. So this is really nice. The caring connections is all about a partnership of two. And um, it doesn't necessarily have to be 
of romantic, but it certainly can be. There's tender karmic connections here at hand. This could be the beginning of a relationship or the deepening of a kindred spirit type of love. So that's really nice. Then we've got um, wedding. So situation involves marriage. This definitely could be for a lot of you, um, your husband or wife. So maybe you are already married to this person and some gifts are coming. They are your lovers. Maybe you're going to take a trip together. Um, there's just like a deepening uh, between you guys. This month is going to be a very loving situation. But if for, for those who are not already married, maybe this is a situation that will grow into um, a marriage kind of situation. So let's see what we've got. Okay, so we've got the son. He's kind of like the daddy. So who's your valentine? Your daddy. <laughs> no, your, um, so this person in your life um, has, is kind of like a father figure. Um, if, they, if they're not a father, then they're like really good with kids. Or they have some, this kind of quality about them that's like very tender. And again, a lot of you I feel maybe already married here or maybe in a relationship and uh, maybe you're in a relationship with the dad. Let's see what else. You got the Four of Swords. So the Four of Swords is like a, a peaceful, serene couple. This is um, also talking about taking a retreat to regenerate. And I feel like this indicates like a psychic connection because the Swords is like the med... The Four of Swords is that meditation card, um, the restful card, and because we are depicting two people here, I feel like in your rest, in your quiet times, you have this, you are, you always have this kind of connection together, psychic connection. But this could also mean traveling like astrally together, you know, but it, and it could mean like traveling physically together too. Let's see what else. And then you have um, the Ace of Chalices, which is romantic pleasures, good conversation, tenderness. These are lovers of all ages. This is a spiritual bond and a regeneration. So I feel a big spiritual sense here. You have, you know, the angel of love who's spiritual and a, a, a strong regeneration here of a couple that already an existing couple. Um, or it could be somebody new in your life that you, you know, you'll have like kind of this new happy wave of love in your situation. There's going to be um, playfulness and gifts and maybe traveling and all, you know, you might even get married on this, like, like a, a elope or something like that. So there's a lot of possibilities here, but it's a very sweet loving relationship and um spiritually based i think in this one and as you know if, as far as specifically who is going to be your valentine the the really only main clue that we got is that he's possibly a, a dad figure um but he's very loving and caring or she's very loving and caring okay well, let's see what your charms have to say Alrighty, let's mix it up Get some from the bottom. Get them on top. All right, let's see what we got. Oh, that's a big handful, but I'm going to take it. All right, let's see. We've got the duck, so some sex may be happening. A date night also with the candlestick. You have the key to each other's heart. So definitely possibly established relationship already. Mr. Spock. So, okay, here's another clue to your, your love interest, your valentine. Maybe they're a logical, intellectual type. This is somebody that, that you can communicate with on internet. You're going to travel the world together. You have for sure uh, a lot of love between you. It's good. It's good. It's good. You got some three wishes coming up, lots of wishes coming true. The writer talks about news and um, travel, maybe, but information coming in. You got one, ooh, that's today, February 1st. Something might be happening as you read this, or right after you read this, do this reading. And we've got um, Ariel. This is the other Ariel. She's kind of like swimming sideways. 
So maybe just kind of like go with the flow, um, speak your voice, sing your songs. Somebody's working out, so good job. <laughs> there's grace here. Oh, this is the, um, the pipe wrench. That's so funny because we just, I mean, I haven't had to worry about my pipes in a while. and But the pipes are connecting water, which represents to me love and emotion. So all of this is good connection. It's being fixed that connection maybe there was a little bit of wobble between your connection and I I noticed in the cards that there's a lot of uh, strengthening in the spiritual connection here and the love connection and good communication you have an, a nice you're really appreciating the appreciating the yin yang quality of you you yes you're different and the same you know you attract because you are opposites in some ways you have the um, arrow, like, it's kind of getting to the point, I think, but also the arrow in in some cases represents protection. You have the snowflake, so maybe wherever you are it's kind of cold, and you might have uh, one more snow before we get to the warmer months, but I feel like um, also the snowflake has to do with being one of a kind individual, very unique. We have a little stocking full of gifts. See, we did have the gift in here. So I feel like, yeah, you might be receiving something special. Let's see, you got the whisk. So stirring things up, you know, or could be cooking together, you know. <laughs> you got the uh, mermaid, so beautiful person, beautiful feminine energy, deep conversations. The moon also talks about like a psychic connection and dreams messages the snake makes me think of the kundalini and also kind of sexual matters you know it's just kind of like ooh, somebody's releasing some kundalini here and really getting in touch with their sexuality and getting sexually closer to their mate their valentine <laughs> then we got flounder and see it's like it's great to have it all. I feel like this is the have it all situation. The very strong sexual connection, a love connection, and a friendship connection, like all in one. Like your your soulmate is your best friend, or your Valentine is also your best friend, but you also have this like explosive feeling with each other, like excitement and and um, passion. It's a forever love though. It's gonna last, you guys. That's, I, I think that's the marriage card. Yeah, I feel like the marriage just means this marriage that if you're gonna, if you're not married, you probably will get married. And then if you are married, your marriage is gonna last. You know, you've got the key here. You have Hollywood. So I feel like a trip definitely on the way, possibly a road trip, but maybe big, bigger, better things. And somebody here could be very creative, artist type. Another key, this is like the key to the royal suite. <laughs> and then we have the, um, the um, heart, uh, peace and love. And the anchor, the anchor of stability, stars, hope. The anchor of stability is good, though. That also kind of reflects that this is kind of a marriage and a steady situation and one that will last. So there you go. I hope that kind of explains it, who your Valentine is and what's going to happen with them. And then I'm, I'm moving on to the next. Okay, and here's pile number two with Archangel Raphael, which is the heart chakra. So maybe your person is named Raphael, or maybe they start with an R. That's also a possibility there. Maybe you feel an, a spiritual connection because of the angels. But this is, you know, talking about... Um, this a love situation that's just going to grow and grow. Even if it's just self-love, you're going to have um, this this feeling of growing and growing and getting better. And I'll just leave it right there. <laughs> All right. So let's see. We've got um, we've got a couple of little hearts messages. We got the numbers 42 and 39. And so karmic connection transformation and change and maybe possibly letter n in play here total devotion and sacrifice in the letter m so those might mean something to you and let's see what your um lovers or oracle has to say you have embrace through each other you find the missing pieces it's very nice and your kipper 
So you got a mature man. So who will be your Valentine? Well, maybe this is a mature man in your life. Maybe um, I like the globe. Maybe not so. Maybe not so much that they're old looking, but they have a maturity about them, right? They're a strong, stable person to you. <laughs> Let's see what else. And uh, they're wealthy, so maybe they look more like that, but and they're wealthy and mature. That's that's a catch so far. A <laughs> wealthy, mature man, and a privileged lady. So either you know you you know either the person your Valentine is a privileged lady or you're the privileged lady. But um, I feel like yeah, if you met this wealthy man maybe you be a privileged lady or maybe not maybe you have your own money and it doesn't matter <laughs> but i think that's a nice little match right there so let's see what your um other so your other energy oracle is a woman holding a heart and the woman holding a heart is all about um a female in your life this is um an even-tempered caring person who resonates with you and your emotions. So this could be a new love, um, a new surge in your love with this woman, or self-love if you resonate with, with this card and you see yourself as the woman holding a heart, or it could be um, you, your interest, your valentine is a woman holding a heart. And that would be so sweet. Your, your valentine is actually going to give you a valentine. Isn't that nice of her? <laughs> All right, and so let's see what your romance angel says. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. So maybe, um, you know, Spirit is saying, you go ahead and make that romantic gesture. Go ahead and make that valentine for them. Or maybe this person is going to make it for you. So let's see what your tarot has to say. Heart tarot here. We've got the lovers. So the lovers is... You, like union and coming together um it's a rendezvous of an erotic passion and plans for the future so there's definitely a yin yin quality here this intense attraction and um lovers here so hmm so i'm getting that right now it's kind of ambiguous your valentine could be male or female it, it's a very strong sort of erotic attraction um spirit is suggesting you express your love or saying that maybe they'll express their love but there is a yin yan here it doesn't matter if you're both female or if you're both male right there is this polar um attraction let's see what else and then we have this um eight of pentacles so this is really beautiful. It's, it's spiritual regeneration and relief from problems. There's going to be a new transparency in your relationship. So maybe, um, you know, there were things that you kept from each other, but now everything is coming out into the open and it's going to feel really good. You're going to feel kind of gold and like in the light and happy. Let's see what else. And you've got the Ace of Wands. So the Ace of Wands is an event coming, you know, towards you. There's an event on the horizon, news in love, a happy story, or a rebirth of a relationship. And this is also like youthful ardor. So it's kind of fun. Um, oh, and, and maybe uh, those initials mean something to you. So I'm, get, I'm feeling... There's a maturity here, but there's a youthful attitude, right? There could be two men, two women, or opposite sexes. Either, I, you know, can't get really specific here, but there is this sense that there's going to be a lot of love expressed and a newness and a freshness in the situation. But um, whoever this person is, male or female, they're going to be wealthy. <laughs> they have money, so that's a clue right there. And I feel that they'll be very attractive as well. And so some of these, um, you know, you, there's a se definitely strong sexual attraction. You've got embrace, and you have the lovers. And so, um, yeah, and your heart chakra is all stimulated and feeling good and vibrant, and you have a lot of self-love. So that's good. I feel like you're attracting somebody who's kind of like maybe mirrors you, who's your equal, who who feels the same way, who who has kind of a, a playfulness about him, 
but um, but also is very mature. So that's kind of nice. All right, let's see what your charms has to say. Alrighty. Get a nice little skipple. Here we go. We've got the snowflake. So we also had snowflake in the first pile, a different snowflake, but and every single one is different, and so that's what the snowflake means to me, like one of a kind, very unique, special, but it could also be indicating winter, <laughs> winter months. Then we've got um, the beast. Okay, so here's another clue to your Valentine. Maybe he is kind of a beastly guy. Maybe he's, uh, he's evolving. He's like the divine masculine who's evolving here. And he's all dressed up, ready to take you out dancing. <laughs> we've got the bicycle. Something's going to get ironed out, you know, all the wrinkles be ironed out. That kind of makes me think of, of this, this card that um, I feel like, yeah, this one is the feeling of things getting better and, and getting clearing up, you know, like a, a clarity, um, um, things not hidden anymore, being obvious now. We got the rooster. So, you guys, anytime you get these animals... Go check out the Chinese Zodiac readings because they could give you whole much more information and clues to the situation and the relationship, especially if you want to know who it is, right? So he might be a rooster. He might even be a snake. The snake also can make me think, it uh, makes me think of like the Kundalini, a sexual energy rising between you guys. The um, sewing machine makes me think of um, creativity and it's the golden sewing machine so like very strong creativity that might bring some money here um somebody's working out here too <laughs> a lot of good let appreciate you know what i admire you guys exercising i've been going to the gym myself building up those biceps we've got the sun yay the sun is beautiful it's like it just is a very happy energy clarity again so this is a very transparent clear relationship and um i maybe it's maybe it is the same a same sex relationship that now you'll be able to talk to everybody about and not feel shy about it anymore so that's nice if that can happen for you but um it could also indicate marriage and commitment and we've got um the harp which is um, music you got hope and the road, and Italy, and the rock, nice stable situation, there's um, spirit here supporting you, you, you know, I love when flounder comes out, because he makes me think of the friend, the best friend that's always there, you know, and so not only is there love and passion, but there is a strong friendship between you two, you've got um, the number three, so that's just in a couple of days. <laughs> so something might be happening in just a few days. You've got the tree, tree of life, health, family, connectivity, branching out. There you go. The canon talks about sex, sex, sexual things. It to, to me, it's a, like an orgasm, explosive feelings, explosive um, connection. Not in a bad way like, fighting but explosive as in oh you know like that yes and then you get the hanger so maybe um buying some clothes here and um you've got uh the piece and the dinosaur okay so the dinosaur could definitely mean that one of you might be older than the other um significantly maybe even it also could mean an um a relationship that's been a long-lasting, long-term relationship already, or that you've known each other in a past life. Um, one, oh, we got one also again, and that's today. And so, of course, time, this is timeless, more or less timeless. Um, it's a Valentine's theme, so it's it's kind of geared toward Valentine's Day, but it definitely, a Valentine can be a Valentine any time of the year. Then we got Mickey Mouse here, and we got this, angel wings of protection i think that you know universe these guys are going to send you like these little kind of clues leaves and things like that whenever you ask a question they're going to they're going to lead you in the right direction by sending send sending you like little clues like that leaves feathers things like that okay well so i hope you like that you guys thumbs up if you like that feel free to comment below i love all of you for 
returning, especially my soul, my sparkles of light. And those of you who are new to the channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. I'd be so grateful if you subscribed and hit that little bell and keep coming back. All right, I'm on to the next. And here's pile number three with the man holding a heart. So that's kind of pretty evident. It's somebody who might be interested in you coming into your life and wants to offer their heart. And also maybe an actual Valentine gift, present, chocolate, something like that. <laughs> All right, let's see. Um, so we've got these two little alphabet lovers messages and one is four and one is 38 and let's see what they say flowing with serenity that's very nice and the letter here is m and warm and stable home that's very nice too and the letter is b all right and just so you know that the the man holding a heart is also con considered a family man so this could be somebody that you know that maybe has you know um, a very strong connection with their family. Um, maybe they have kids already, or maybe they just want to have children, you know, that's really important to them kind of thing. Or, and it doesn't even have to be a man, but, in, you know, symbolically it's a man in this case. All right, so here's your lover's oracle it's saying manifesting miracles. Very nice. Your dream is soon to become reality. Trust your heart and continue to follow its guidance. Awesome. Here we have some um, some kippers. So we've got to figure out more about who is your Valentine. We have a mature woman. So maybe either you're a mature woman or your Valentine is a mature woman. We have house. So maybe you're, um, looks like I said, they may be a family person. Maybe they already have a really nice house. And maybe they're lonely in their big old house and they're looking for somebody to share that with. Then let's see what else. Ooh, marriage. Okay, so so this could be a, a person in that you might even you know already know that might be heading towards um, a marriage situation. Look, you've got cherry blossoms. <laughs> I love cherry blossoms. So so the uh, so yeah. I mean, this person could be already married. That's one possibility, but not necessarily. I just feel like this is a person who who believes in this in the sanctity of marriage believes in family believes in and being connected and but maybe in this um, pile also it's talking about you and your beloved and you are already married or in a relationship and I got that from the first pile so it, it is very possible that you're already with somebody whoever's watching this or that you are moving towards a relationship that's includes marriage let's see what else your energy oracle says so you've got a door to romance the door to romance is like really just it's kind of like opening up for you this these possibilities so maybe uh, a lot a lot a lot of you a large portion of you out there are you still not yet in a ro uh, romantic relationship or you are headed that way but you still haven't um you know gotten to that point where you're very committed and so so i feel like maybe this heart here is this man like off into the distance offering your heart and you finally open the door and you're walking through kind of thing you know it could also uh, be something that leads towards marriage and yeah so so I think um, it, it, it is a relationship that exists in an energetic potential. Whether you know them or not, this is, this is there. You know, this is in the energetic realm. So um, you, you should be like projecting the kind of self-loving energy you want to receive from others. And the universe is going to reta return that to you. Are you ready now? Are you ready to open the door? Because the universe, it's like the universe has this gift for you, okay? So let's see what your romance angels say. You have flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. So this could be like this person that you've been flirting with. 
that has been giving you the the smiles from a distance or whatever the longing look maybe they're the one you know that you're gonna that's you're gonna be your valentine that's this budding romance that they might be the one that gives you that heart let's see what your heart tarot has to say so you've got six of swords oh wait yeah, Six of Swords. This is news and expectations. This is uh, ha taking trips with a positive result. This is a change in, in family dynamics here and beginnings and endings. So it's kind of interesting that the that there's a family thing happening here since we already have a, a family guy and we have marriage and we have a woman with the home. So um, there is a, but it's a positive change. You know, it's like, it's a, an ending of something old and stepping into something new. So some of you might be separating from somebody, but some of you also might be stepping into a new situation with somebody. Maybe they're the ones that are um, going through a divorce or leaving somebody, and now this door is finally open to you. So that's an interesting possibility here, but I think that is very possible. <laughs> All right, let's see what else. And then you have this um, King of Swords. So here's a, a big clue to who your Valentine is. This is a man, a mature man. So um, we have a mature woman, but it could mean, you know, the mature woman could mean man. Um, man or woman who is successful, straightforward, and loyal. They are divorced or single. So this, this is, again, saying that this man holding a heart could be one who's finally their divorces come through and now they're like hey you know i'm opening this door now to you kind of thing so that's possible here um or it could be the, the woman that's opening the door and um yeah so so this so the other thing about the king of swords is that he maybe is somebody who's dated a lot of people who who um has never been very focused on having a, um, a monogamous relationship or uh, singling one person out and now suddenly haha he's found the one you know he's found the one in you and nobody else matters or the other way around it could be a woman who's feeling this way like they finally found the one in you this feels very bachelor to me <laughs> it's like will you accept this rose you know <laughs> and he's finally singled it down to the last girl kind of thing but you know it's something like that for you all right and then finally we have um the five of wands and in a lot of decks the five of wands is not that happy but i love it in this one this is great so the five of wands is talking about expansion romantic trips spiritual tranquility a joyful spirit this is a very important relationship and finally it says eating with relish i like that too so i feel like you guys are going to be world travelers whenever you guys finally get together or maybe you by the time you read this you're together and now you're going to go off on this this trip together and we're going to um, enjoy the joy the world enjoy the food of the world and 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 eat and drink and be merry kind of thing you know enjoy this savor the world together so this could be like I said an already established marriage and you're um you know feeling kind of fun and flirty with each other right now and they're going to be your valentine and give you a valentine and then going to go right off on a gondola together and let's just enjoy um some travel time possibly together or this is a um a person that is going through a divorce is already about to be divorced or is divorced or single this you know talking about single people there could be a mature woman a mature man um a, several choices here but i think in general it's very nice and light-hearted and the door to romance is opening up for you and um spirit you know the universe is saying are you ready ready to step through and we finally cleared the situation up for you that's what i'm getting from this they finally this person is finally free now they're finally available to you you know and that door opened up for you okay so let's see what your charms have to say Diane, and completely forgot too that you had the manifesting miracles. That would totally be a miracle, right? If, if this person you've wanted for so long is finally free to be with. So, yeah. Let's 
see what we got. Ooh, we got six. So six is the number of love. And you've got Bruce Springsteen, the boss. And so something with the name Bruce or Spring or teen <laughs> or this masculine rock star maybe looks a little like Bruce Springsteen, like dark hair and brown eyes, um, handsome, rugged. You've got Angel um, looking out for you here, Angel Baby. You've got a hanger, so some clothes, time to sh go shopping. You've got the magic carpet, so there it kind of shows that you're going to be going on a trip, you know, or, um, get, you know, just really enjoying, like, feeling free. I see that one. It's kind of like going on a trip together. And Oop, you got names, so we got to do Scrabble for you. We got play, cool, you got uh, each other's back. <laughs> it's I love this one. It's like, this could also be a daddy thing, you know, or mommy thing, like um, taking care of smaller beings. But it could also, and <laughs> Cy likes this one, is um, the motorcycle, like riding on a motorcycle together. <laughs> I like that too, that image. And then um, we've got... I got the um, leisure. I feel like this is just kind of like a leisure, like taking it easy, having fun. That kind of reiterates this. I feel like somebody definitely here is going to go on a little vacation. Here's the glasses. I love um, when you guys comment and say, yes, I need glasses. We both wear glasses. <laughs> so, yeah, maybe your um, Valentine wears glasses. At the very least, they might use reading glasses for, or whatever, you know. Um, we've got a wand here. This is so cute. The wand and the ballerina shoes. I feel very Tinkerbell-ish fairy quality here, you know, like very delicate. So the feminine here could be very delicate. We've got um, date night coming up. And the, cl the clock, it's like, this, this clock is so cool. This reminds me of the clock in um, Beauty and the Beast. It's like, yeah, so only time will tell. Like this is... Divine timing is at hand. Finally, divine timing has stepped in and changed things for you guys. And then you've got the honeybee, honey, and the honeycomb. I love this one. So, mm, sweetness here. You have the sword of truth, you know, getting down to, to the truth of the matter. Uh, and see, uh, the other two piles got snowflakes and you got a snowman. So I think we're all still in the winter here. You got spirit watching out for you. You got gifts too. And you got the moon, which means a psychic connection. You are safe in this situation. Just um, got to figure out which direction to go in. I think, though, the direction has finally be de been determined. The Libra is great because even if you're not, nobody's a Libra in this situation, or even if you are, it's like a beautiful balance of scales here. It's finally nice and balanced. And maybe your person is charming. <laughs> so whether they're Libra or not, they could be charming. I have Libra rising, by the way, if anybody wants to give me a that be my Valentine. <laughs> so, yeah, so um, this could be totally me because I'm a mature woman and, you know, I'm looking for that man holding a heart. I need a miracle. Anyway, so... So just keep on being, you know, being yourself, you know, extend that lighthearted energy. The lighthearted energy really works miracles and we're going to get, we're going to manifest miracles. Okay. So there is this chance that there is a trip coming. Um, yup. And, um, I, <laughs> like I got a brain for it there. Um, so and so, your per, your Valentine is could be a mature man who's successful, straightforward, and loyal. You know, and possibly, and he's focused on finding the one. So, and you might be focused on that too. And you're opening this door to love. And so exciting things are happening for this pile. I think. So I hope you like that, guys. If you like that, thumbs up. Feel free to comment below. Um, hello all my returning subscribers and hello all you new guys out there. Please feel free to subscribe and hit the bell for notifications and just enjoy so you can enjoy all the videos that pop up. And if anybody needs a private reading, you know how to reach me. Look in the description box for my email address and I will send you all that information through email. 
price list and everything. You can also check out the community page. I post it every once in a while, and I'll post it again. But I, I post a lot of things in the community page to connect with you, and I, I post things in Instagram, too, to connect with you. Oh, so I hope you have a lovely rest of your day, and faith, trust, and pixie dust.